and the sun is shining brightly so I guess this is the perfect intro for this video this is one of the most accurate things that could happen on a video about this city definitely here anyway welcome to this tour of the city I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite places to eat here in Naples or Napoli whatever you want to call that I feel like this city is getting more popular over the year not for the downside of the city to my surprise a lot of things change so I guess it would be nice to show you around FYI some of the clips I recorded are not from today because it's humanly physically impossible for me to try all the amount of food and recommend all the amount of food that this city has to offer in one day i think i would die i guess trust me i have been here for years like i came here to university and i used to work here so i got to experience both the university lifestyle and options and the more you know when you have your own adult money option of course there will be a lot of things that you won't find here but there is just too much to cover so you have to come here to see the rest let's go here for obvious reasons i really love to come here during my lunch break because my workplace used to be very close to here like 10 minutes walking and during my lunch break i would just come here to relax there not, not here there the amount of people that during summer are just here sunbathing is insane this area especially this side like by the sea it's obviously very touristy but if i can recommend you anything look this side every place is a scan this side less of a scan it's touristy but at least it's okay here are complaining all the time that they don't accept payment by car and they make excuses about that so if you just want to get your coffee there go but not more nothing more anyway this is one of my favorite things in this city it's a castle by the sea it used to be free entry and then i know for a fact from an insider let's say <laughs> that a window fell off literally fell into the sea like the glass of the window and the other one inside the castle so now it's temporarily closed this is another very accurate representation of the city anyway now it's temporarily closed we don't know when it's gonna open again hope they open soon like before summer because it's just so pretty like it's free entry and even when it's so hot during the summer if you go up on the terrace there is so much wind because you're literally by the sea it's just so nice to chill there drinking something fresh and we really hope that they open it again soon now I have to say, this area, not much about the street food compared to other areas of Naples but just because here every shop is more high hand and there are a lot of offices and just lawyers and expensive stuff so I guess it's just matching the vibe when I used to work here I remember people would come just to ask me a recommendation from a local about a pizza place that wouldn't be too touristy but at the same time would be good and I always recommended them this place because the inside is just stunning they literally have a garden inside and the pizza is so good actually I'm going there. I'm ordering a takeout and getting her pizza. She's working now. We're gonna eat during her lunch break. It's gonna be delicious. Now that's fancy. literally faux first time i was looking for this place i thought it was a faux i was like oh my god they finally opened a faux restaurant in naples because there are no faux restaurants and then i again closer and it's actually pino it's p-i-n-o written like that and i was like oh no that's a bummer it came out to be a good surprise regardless awesome. so Got no <laughs> he makes the best pizza here guys if you want to be here make sure to ask about him it's so nice Grazie. Mm. 
Sometimes I get so surprised by how chatty these people are. Because in Seoul, when he's talking to anyone here, everyone just start a conversation very easily. And he was like, you are making me a bit of an advertisement, right? Are you gonna make me famous? And I was like, yes. Do you mind? Like, was it just putting pressure on you? And he was like, no, not at all. <laughs> Got him. Literally buy your pizza somewhere here and just go eating that by the sea or anywhere. The square I showed you earlier, everyone was just chilling and having their pizza there. Because that's just how it works. It's cheaper, it's local experience, and it's just more fun. I've never been there, but this is always madness. And it was already famous before they opened the fried fish thingy. So I'm guessing it's famous even among the locals. So I think it's worth it. I haven't tried that one either, but there is always a line. And my friend said that it was basically famous on TikTok. And then he opened his own shop. And now it's crowded every single day. Now it's like 9.30. There are already so many people. I have never seen that place without a line outside, literally. This place is amazing, like literally a piece of art. Coffee is not so great, it's average, but I think it's worth the experience. I went there with my mom and we were looking at the ceilings and the mirrors and it feels like you're having a coffee in a museum and I feel like this is very true to an Italian experience you can have. So if you get the chance, highly recommend it. This is the best place, the right amount of grease, in my opinion. If you're craving something fried but not too oily, come here. You won't regret it. They have a room upstairs. Whenever you order something that they have on display, they use the basket to get it upstairs. And I think it's just so cute. I had a good experience here. I came here a couple of times and it never failed me again. Only good recommendations. <laughs> delicious they never fail me they have a lot of spots around Naples and I mean the best pastries ever in my opinion they also have what we call a chalet which is basically just a cafe where you can also have your aperitivo and it's by the sea like further that way and me and my mom we usually go there just to have breakfast on Sunday morning and it's just the best atmosphere if you go during the night time it might get crowded I mean in Naples you can eat good stuff everywhere but that that's another level Three hours later. Ma sembra buonissimo che odore che c'è. 
So we are here. Partly, my friends told me <laughs> that if you come here with food brought somewhere else, as long as you get a drink, you can have your lunch or whatever you bring with you here without any problem, which is so cool and just perfect for the amount of street food that there is around here. But yeah, that's what we're doing. having a coffee together and I'm trying to steal Wi-Fi somewhere. If you've been to Italy, you know it's not as common as somewhere else in the world. If you've been to Naples, it's even worse. But I want to film something special for you. I feel like people come here in summer, but during winter time, there should be a lot going on. That's why I'm very early. I haven't been this early probably since I was working here. But yeah, we are going to the historical center. Not me literally passing by the Duomo and not realizing that. We are also passing by my university, one of the buildings. Came here early because it's madness. In winter, actually, I'm not sure if there are a lot of foreigners, but a lot of Italian tourists come here because of winter time, presepe, and everything going on. It's one main street, but it's very narrow, like every street here. I tried their cinema, it's good. Next to Mr. Cinema, that's my university. It's closed. But why would it be closed? There should be still classes going on until next week. And I had classes at 8.30 and now it's past 8.30. I'm not sure, but anyway, that was one of the buildings. And now we're going towards the famous street. I don't see any line, but I already see some police going. Everyone is getting ready. They have a good coffee. That's a thing in Italy. It's just like other European countries. You walk minding your business and you are surrounded by art. And you might see as well a building that has over 200 years and it's just there. <laughs> I love about this street is that there is a cafe at every other shop. You cannot escape. Look at that. So much coffee going on. Even though shops open at like 10 30, sometimes at 11 o'clock, cafes are always open. I used to come here where I didn't pack my lunch when I went to university because it's so good. Everything is so good. Anyway, that's the other building of my university. It's closed. I wonder what's happening today. Probably nothing's happening. That's why they're closed. In Naples, coffee culture is more on the go. I feel like it's something that people don't realize. When I say in Naples, it's because Italy is so diverse. Until you come here, you don't understand how diverse it is. When you go to different cities in Italy, it's like different countries. Traditions are so different. I'm saying in Naples, the coffee culture, because I'm not sure that somewhere else in Italy is the same. So I'm just not assuming. And here it's more on the go. So coffee places are all open at 7 a.m. Like sometimes even at 5 in places like more in places like more towards a uh, station and i don't mean in the station i mean more in that area they just made it for people who work and they need to go to the office or they have an early morning shift that's just how it is and it's something that i really appreciate honestly because no matter what time i come here even at university when i used to have classes at 8 30 i would take the train at 7 and i would arrive here at 7 30 so i had a lot of time before my classes and i had always somewhere to go it's it's very reliable. <laughs> you can rely on cafes in Naples. 
as soon as you leave this street, everything is different. It's like a microcosm, for real. Not just throwing words. <laughs> Someone was singing with Madonna <laughs> in that shop. That's a good way to start the morning. Oh, my friend is here, so I'm just gonna meet her and we're having a coffee somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we're having a coffee somewhere. This place has the best croissant. Type of croissant I really like, and I don't like French croissant because I don't like butter. And with those, I can only taste butter. With the Italian type croissant, you can actually taste the custard cream and they don't taste like butter that much. That's the only thing I really miss whenever I'm traveling, that kind of flavor. Because everywhere else in the world, at least where I've been, it's mostly based on the French model, like French style, which I understand, but I don't like. Not pan au chocolat, I love pan au chocolat, I don't know, it's different. Probably the chocolate is more bitter, so it just tastes better. Um, 
so basically there are no seats inside and they literally put that for us because it's for here so i failed in filming that so i got distracted but this is so sweet my friend was like you shouldn't film that because it looks like it's literally the italian hospitality or whatever and i was like oh right i'm feeling it doing my own lead job <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, we have our own table now. Yeah, I think we're eating here, most likely. So. Should I spill the tea? No, veramente. They were not good, not at all. Like they were just cheesy, like cheesy cheese. So they were sweet. And I was like, first of all, where is the pepper? The bell pepper? And then I was like, okay, now that I found the bell pepper, where is the flavor of the pepper? Something is off here. As everything in Korea, it's either bittersweet or too sweet. That was the case. But it was good. I was very hungry and I felt better. Would I recommend the place? I'm not sure. If you have low standards, you can go to it. It's a pass. Did you like the review? <laughs> wow. What is that? Vieni e questo con lime. Il cacio e pepe e lime. Anche ieri da mia nonna. We're handmade. So 